Hello, my friends. Uh, this is the video that I made on Baba just eight days ago, on uh, September the 20th of this year, when the price of this asset uh, was at uh, $89.36. And uh, we had a breakout uh, above uh, the ranges of resistances. We broke it, uh, we broke the range of about uh, $35 right here, and we broke $88.04. And in this very point, uh, I told you that we might have a tiny pullback because this asset uh, had a very, very substantial support from the fundamentals, uh, from uh, their own fundamentals and from the general sentiment uh, of the Chinese stock market. And uh, I told you that we might have tiny pullback and then the trend might continue. Guys, take a look right here. We were at this point, we had a tiny pullback that retested the range of $88.04. You can see that I didn't draw any new lines uh, in between of uh, my videos. And then we had a perfect bounce out of this range and we hit much higher targets. We hit uh, the highest point of uh, its price action at about $109. And guys, this is another evidence of the power of technical analysis. And if you want to know more about technical analysis, if you want to enhance your trading skills, feel free to subscribe to my YouTube channel and to join my Patreon account, where for the $35 a month you will be able to drastically enhance your trading skills. On top of that, guys, for the first 100 subscribers I will do a giveaway. I will do a technical analysis based on your request on any asset that you might find. On top of that, guys, and it is the most lucrative offer, for now there is not so many people inside the Discord group, that is why Almost 100% of my time will be dedicated to you. And it is pretty much one-on-one -on -one training for the value of $450 a month, but for the fraction of this cost, for just $35 a month. And I think it is quite fair deal. So guys, and let's take a look again on its price action. I have to say that uh, this quite substantial movement to the, to the upside Right after the breakout, this asset gained more than 24.26%. Uh, this movement uh, has to have a cool down. But at the same time, guys, we broke uh, several major re resistances uh, that were previously in swing highs. And in my technical analysis, I will show you that uh, this breakout potentially is the pure sign of uh, its major trend reversal. And from uh, the current uh, point, uh, we might rely on its uh, consistent uh, movement to the upside. But everything I will show you in just several minutes in my technical analysis. And let's continue with some fundamental news. First of all, I want to pay your attention that we don't have any updates uh, on marketbit.com uh, in regards to the uh, recent analyst forecasts. Uh, the most recent one was made uh, on uh, August 29 by Loop Capital, and they set the same price target at $115. At the same time, guys, uh, this asset uh, pretty much hit uh, its consensus analyst price target. And that is why, guys, we have to be cautious. On top of that, guys, take a look right here. According to tick ranks, uh, we also hit or pretty much hit the uh, uh, consensus analyst price target at $109.22. But we still have uh, among 16 ratings, uh, th 13 uh, of analysts suggest uh, to buy and only three to hold, zero to sell. And this is another evidence uh, of its potential trend reversal. On top of that, guys, unfortunately, I don't have an access uh, behind the paywall, but uh, we have uh, several uh, updates that are not reflected uh, on the market bids. As you can see, uh, uh, we have four updates uh, from September. Morgan Stanley reiterated their rating on September 19th. The same day, Jeffries reiterated their rating. Then. Uh, Bank of America assigned uh, the rating for the first time for Alibaba on uh, September 24th. And uh, just uh, three days ago, uh, Citigroup also reiterated their rating. So, I have to say that uh, we have a very, very thorough uh, price target of about consensus analyst price target of about $109. But guys, take a look right here. This is the institutional ownership of Baba stock and uh, we have a clear sign of its potential trend reversal. You shouldn't rely on these three, basically on these four bars. Uh, it is just some kind of misrepresentation of data. But uh, we have uh, several months in a row with an increasing number of institutional investors who want to hold uh, Bava stock in their investment portfolios. On top of that, guys, 
the most recent uh, update, uh, the most recent filings that were made at the very end of uh, September uh, show us that uh, we have cautious buys and uh, we have uh, quite substantial improvement uh, on these uh, numbers as well. Take a look uh, right here. For example, Fidelity opened completely new position uh, on Alibaba and they invested $10.24 million. And uh, they opened, for example, Dimensional Emerging Markets Value Fund uh, added 13, almost $13.5 million. And uh, this uh, is a very good sign of uh, its uh, upcoming bullishness. On top of that, guys, if you take a look on the general sentiment uh, for Baba stock, you can see a lot of recent news uh, that potentially leads us to the conclusion that uh, this asset will continue to grow. And uh, let's take a look on just a couple of this news. Uh, Alibaba Tencent rally as Beijing stimulus plans push China's uh, tech stocks to 13-month high. This article was published uh, on September 27th. And let me quote to just these key points. Chinese tech stocks, including beaten down names like Alibaba, rallied this week, uh, hitting highs uh, not seen in more than a year. It comes after China's central bank announced measures to stimulate the world's second largest economy would be coming. Alibaba closed above $100 per share for the first time since August last year in the US uh, on uh, Thursday. Tencent uh, stock closed at its highest level in more than two and a half years. And guys, I have to say that uh, the main reason of uh, this movement is the, the policy of uh, Chinese Communist Party. They reduced uh, their interest rates uh, for the first time uh, uh, for the last uh, couple of years. And this uh, leads uh, to the spike in price of all Chinese stocks. That is why, guys, the trend might continue. But from the technical standpoint, uh, I will show you what should we expect next. And let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, first of all, I want to show you the most, uh, the most important uh, sign of uh, its bullishness. If I switch to daily time frame and uh, clean the chart, you can see that uh, we pretty much broke uh, these previous uh, swing highs that were established on August the 2nd of uh, 2023 and uh, on April the 4th of 2023. And uh, this is a very, very good sign. On top of that, guys, the volume right here, let me show you in details, is extremely high. It is the highest uh, volume, highest daily volume for the entire 2024 and probably for uh, a for couple of years. The most uh, recent volume uh, that is comparable to this one uh, was uh, set uh, on March, 20, March 29th of 2023. But at the same time, guys, if I switch to weekly time frame, you can see that uh, this asset, uh, take a look right here, also has extremely, extremely high volume. That is why, guys, so we have to rely on this uh, breakout above these two ranges as uh, the potential trend reversal. And probably this, uh, uh, this point that was set by uh, Alibaba back in October of 2022 was the lowest point. And uh, the pure confirmation of this will be breakout above uh, this swing high at uh, $121.6. But guys, again, take a look uh, on hourly time frame. Let's uh, turn on all the tools. Let me show you that uh, uh, on hourly time frame, we can see again a bearish divergence. We have a lower highs on our side with the higher highs on the price section. On a two hours time frame, we also have the same bearish divergence, but on a slightly bigger scale from this top uh, to these several tops. On top of that, three hours time frame. Again, bearish divergence. Four hours time frame. Again, bearish divergence, but the momentum is still quite high, as you can see on MACD indicator. A daily time frame. And this is not uh, the bearish sign at all, according to uh, RSI. And according to MACD, we also don't see any bearishness of this asset. But guys, if you take a look on this latest candle that is uh, that has a quite long week to the upside and that has a quite substantial volume, it is not the best one. And uh, we are extremely high, according to our side, at $82.28, at 82.28 points. This means uh, we might see a cool down, but uh, I have uh, some doubts about the ranges where we might land. 
and uh, here you can see several gaps and from the technical standpoint these gaps should be closed and this means uh, we have to wait for the advertisement and i have to admit that the entire market a uh, u.s stock market and uh Chinese stock market as well is extremely, extremely bullish right now. That is why the volatility is quite high. And that is why, guys, the medium, at least short and medium term retracement should happen. That is why I don't encourage you to enter your long position. Just wait for the retracement with anticipation of its next leg to the upside. So I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with the notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you.